Planning ahead is an awesome thing when it comes to buying new construction, but letting your builder know you've planned ahead is a terrible thing. For example, the last thing you wanna do is walk into a model home and tell the sales consultant, you're the only builder we're considering. Like maybe you've done a lot of research and really you have decided on them, but you definitely don't want to tell them that, okay? And here's why. The minute they know they're your only or even your top choice, you've missed out on a major tactical negotiating strategy. I mean, if you happen to be looking in a community where there are a lot of other builders and a lot of inventory homes, telling a builder they're your top choice is even worse. You see, a big way to negotiate is to compare similar sales. And having multiple builders with a lot of recent sale options can give you a lot more to compare, and that's a lot more leverage. I mean, basically, you want the builders competing against each other. So what does this look like? Well, it's market research. It's probably going to require an agent in order to see closed sales and all of the details like price per square foot, days on the market, and so on. You wanna know as much about each builder as possible. Like, say the builder you've chosen is pretty much sticking to their list prices. What that means is the higher ups at the company have instructed their sales consultants not to sell below list price and even to try and keep prices above list price. Well, at the same time, there are probably other builders in the community with a little more flexibility. I mean, say they've been selling at around 97% of list price. And then you have that one builder who isn't doing so great at all. In fact, they're pretty desperate to sell and they'll do whatever they can to get you under contract. It's situations like these that you may be able to, you know, use to get your first well-funded buyer to lower their prices. Or if you're lucky, this struggling builder will just happen to be the one you've decided on. Again, you have to know the market data. Here's an example of a subdivision like that. In Winsong Ranch in Prosper, you have over 10 different builders and each of them have different levels of motivation. One of them is accepting offers as low as 91% of the list price. That particular builder has come down in price on every single sale in the past 90 days. So it sounds like they're pretty motivated. If you walked in there, saying they're the only builder you're considering, you might find yourself being the first one to pay full price in over 90 days. The idea here is you want them to want the sale and offer the incentives and lower prices. I mean, it's a little bit like playing poker. Don't ever ever you know, show the other players your hand. You've gotta remember that while you're trying to get the best deal you can, so is the builder. So what do you say? Well, instead of telling them you've already done your research and decided on them, tell them you're still exploring different options and different builders and you're really focused on prices and incentives. Here's a similar situation you also want to avoid. Don't ever tell a builder that this is the only community we're considering. I mean, I know you may have been searching new construction communities for the past few months all over the Metroplex, and this particular one is in the right school district with the right amenities, and you're absolutely sure it's the one for you. Well, that's all well and good, but again, you don't wanna say that to them. Think about this. To the extent you can play different builders off each other within the same community, you can also play different communities off each other within the same company. Like say you've decided on a specific builder. You can play the sales consultants of different communities that builder is located at off of each other, wherever that particular home is built. All right, for example, we had a buyer who was looking in Rockwall at a grand home. Grand Homes builds in a few different communities in Rockwall and we had a running conversation between the sales consultants at those different communities to see who would offer the best price. Often sales consultants have some leeway of incentives at their level, and they can ask for additional incentives by reaching out to management. There is a tactical strategy in speaking with these same home builder, different sales consultants, and different communities. But you give away that advantage if you disclose right away that you've already decided that this community is the one. Next up, you never wanna tell a builder that you are in a rush. This might look like you saying, we've already sold our home, or we're closing in two weeks and we need a place to stay, or our lease ends next month. All right, this is definitely something you want the realtor that you trust to be aware of, but not the sales consultant. The sales consultant is there to make a sale, period, all right? They will use this as an opportunity to build the pressure and negotiate less. Saying you're in a rush has just given them a reason to not be motivated to offer you incentive. Now they know you're a motivated buyer, so don't ever show your level of urgency. It's not too unlike buying from a car dealership. That salesman represents the owner of the car lot. 
The sales consultant represents the builder, even if they seem to be really kind and to have your best interests at heart. All right, your realtor is the only one with a fiduciary duty to you. The builder wants to give up as little as possible to get the sale. When you communicate that you're in a hurry, you're essentially saying you don't have time to shop various communities and builders. That's not a message that you wanna send. Now, this one may be surprising to you since it's definitely something sales consultants will ask you. Don't ever tell a builder what you're pre-approved for. Consultants will often phrase it like they're trying to help you find the best match and they'll ask you about your buying power. And by that they mean, you know, are you a cash buyer or have you been pre-approved for a loan? And and what they're really getting at here is what you are choosing to spend. And and often that is completely different than what you're been, you know, pre-approved for. Well, you don't want to tell them this yet. For example, all right, just because you're pre-approved for one million doesn't mean you want to spend that much. I mean, maybe you're hoping to find something in the $800,000 range. If you tell them what you're pre-approved for, the sales consultant has no need to come down in price if they know you are able to pay the full price. Now that being said, once you have found the house you really want, there can be a tactical play here. In the example I just mentioned, you can tell the sales consultant that your budget is 750,000. They don't need to know that 800,000 is what you would prefer to spend. Remember that they want to make the sale. So put the pressure on them to make it happen as close to your preferred price as possible. This is especially true with custom new builds where whatever price you selected will increase with structural changes, lot premium and design selections. In this kind of situation, it's even more important for you to start out with a much lower budget than what you intend to spend. Okay, moving on, another thing you should never tell a builder that you don't like to negotiate. I mean, you may in fact be the type of person who does not like confrontation, or maybe you just don't have the patience for it, I mean, maybe you just really want things to be as simple as possible. You wanna walk into that sales office, tell them to give the best deal they have and be done with it. Or maybe you've been told you can't negotiate with new construction and didn't even think it was an option. Sarah Sharkey with Bankrate explains that the top myth buyers of new construction homes tend to believe is that builders won't negotiate with them on price. That's just not true, says Karen Stokes. She continues, you can negotiate price, lot lines, loan fees, and other items. So no matter what you've heard, even if you heard it directly from a builder, there is room for negotiation, especially in this market. So don't let the sales consultant know that you don't wanna put in the work to negotiate. Besides, if you have a good realtor, they'll do the negotiations for you. And there are so many possibilities for negotiations when it comes to new construction too. Like take uh, inventory homes, for example. Are you ready? You can negotiate on price, closing cost assistance, rate buy down, forward commitment, extras like blinds, appliances, gutters, sometimes a garage door opener in a lesser expensive home where it doesn't come standard. And then with new builds, you can still negotiate for all of those things except a forward commitment. All right, plus you can negotiate on other things like discounts on the lot premium, credit towards structural upgrades, credit towards design center. And even if you don't like negotiation, don't sell yourself short of all of these potential options. Your agent will or should, all right, do all of this for you anyways, all right? So, so I mean, keep in mind, when it comes to negotiations, it's always a wiser decision to let a more knowledgeable third party handle it on your behalf. As any buyer off the street, a sales consultant will not see you the same way they see a realtor, all right? They know they can't take advantage of a realtor in the same way as they can a potentially uneducated buyer. And they know a solid realtor has experience and training with these things. As a buyer by yourself, you may be told things like how they've been selling dozens of homes and simply don't have to offer any incentives or that they don't have any, you know, say over incentives and they can't be changed or added to. Well, your realtor, on the other hand, can see that maybe those dozens of homes, right, that they've been selling have actually sold at 80% of list price. So make sure you have someone who has access to all of the data necessary to have leverage in negotiations. Now, if you're the type that just, you don't have the patience for negotiating, Don't worry because we're gonna do it for you. You won't have to put up with as much back and forth and keeping track of all the numbers, but you should still be aware that it is going to take some patience on your end. Something you should know is that the most effective way to negotiate is not when everyone's sitting around the table staring each other down. All right, sometimes it takes us like one to two weeks to get our sales consultants to the price where our buyers wanna be. It's like a back and forth text where we're wearing them down, all right? Many times they'll kind of give in like, you know, with a sigh and be like, okay, we'll agree to that price, but it has to be signed by tonight, you know, that type of response. Of course, we're ready for this by this point, right? Because we've been preparing all this time. All right, this next one isn't just something you shouldn't say, 
but something you shouldn't do. All right, are you ready? Don't show a builder that you'll love the home. Especially do not say things like, this home is perfect for us. If they can tell while you're touring the model home or after when you're discussing options that you love the home and it's perfect for you, they're gonna see that as an easy sale. A consultant who thinks they have an easy sale won't be motivated to tell you about other sales or to give you the best price. We had this happen once where the sales consultant actually said to me that she could come down in price, but she wasn't going to. Like she actually had the authorization to come down in price, but she refused to do so because she knew the buyers loved and wanted the home. So I can't emphasize this enough. Keep your poker face the entire time you're viewing a model home. Here's one that may really surprise you. You've already heard that you shouldn't tell a builder that you're in a hurry, but you don't wanna to go too far to the other end of the spectrum either. Don't tell a builder that you're not in a hurry. Now, I, I realize this may seem counterintuitive when I just told you not to convey a sense of urgency, all right? But let me explain. What you wanna communicate is something to the effect of, honestly, I'm flexible. Say that you could buy right now for the right price, but that you don't have to, that you're flexible and you're open to the best deal. If the seller knows you have no plans of buying right away, they'll have no sense of urgency to offer you the best deal. Instead, you'll get put on the back burner while they're trying to make sales and offer incentives to other buyers. This is something to keep in mind. Builders will always be more motivated to sell inventory homes, especially homes that are completely finished, move-in ready, and just sitting there costing the builder money. In order to take full advantage of this, the builder needs to have some idea that you could close ASAP for the right price. I have your agent help you out here too. They should be looking at completed homes and how long they've been on the market. When a builder has a completed home just sitting there, they have to pay all these soft costs, right? Like debt and utilities. This is important to know. Inventory that's in the process of being built but still several months from completion the builder isn't particularly motivated about selling those, right? he has time. But the homes that are ready and just sitting there, those are the ones where he's ready to talk, especially if there are several of them. We were once out at Cibolo Hills in Fort Worth chatting with a sales consultant and she showed me a list of their upcoming homes for sale. Like they had numerous homes of the exact same model, but the prices were completely different based on their completion date. So keep that in mind, the same home can have completely different prices. I asked her about it and she explained that the closer the home gets to completion, the more they lower the price. So you as a buyer wanna take advantage of that. So don't give the builder a reason to think that you couldn't or wouldn't buy right now if you were given the right deal. Many times the sales consultant will be given a directive on certain homes, like this particular set of homes needs to be off the books by the end of the month. They'll be told to prioritize those, you know, really put energy into getting those sold. But if you immediately say that you're not in a hurry and you won't be deciding anytime soon, the homes the sales consultant is supposed to focus most on selling, well, they, you know, those homes the sales consultant will assume that you're not a good fit for them. You know, and then you end up missing out on a fantastic deal because probably they're not even gonna tell you about them. In fact, there's a lot new construction home builders are just never gonna tell you, period. All right, if you're in the market for new construction and you wanna know more about that, check out this video. In the meantime, Wendy out.